Yo, 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 we about to get into the sad reality of dating apps. This was uploaded by my guy, Cameron. Shout out to him. Y'all go subscribe, check him out. Anybody watching? Are you on a dating app? I'm not, so cannot relate to any of sad reality. I will not be on any. Um, if you do see me, then it may not be me. And if it is me, then I'm there for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> Anyways, if there's a video that y'all would like to see me do next, put it in the comment section right now. Or you can send it to me on Twitter or X.com, whatever, at Billy Benjes. Do not send it to my Instagram, but you are more than, you know, it's cool if you want to follow me on IG. Also, I upload reels and all that good stuff at Billy Benjes. Everything's at Billy Benjes, but let's get straight into it. Love, an intense feeling of deep affection. That butterfly feeling in in your stomach when your crush walks by. The third most important thing on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We mm. all aspire to be in love one day. I mean, love makes the world go around. Yeah. Love brought you here. Love brought me here. And mm -hmm. it also brought every single human being on this earth here. That well, show. I don't know if love brought everyone here because some people are made out of, you know, just because, you know, that, that, that one night hookup and then, whoops, baby, there's no love involved in that. You know what I'm saying? That was just straight lust. Some of us was made in lust. It was another L word that wasn't love. Shows how important love truly is. And what is one way to find love in the beautiful year of 2024? Dating apps. We've all been on a dating app, right? Or am I just exposing some point. myself for being down bad? I feel like everyone in their life has like an arc where they're on dating apps like crazy. I'm not gonna lie, my arc actually came pretty early because I mean, I'm 20 years old, I dropped out of college, I don't go to parties, I go to the gym, and I make videos. How else am I gonna find women? I mean, I could try right, raising up right, women right. at the gym, but I mean, I'm not trying to be Joey Swole's next victim, so that's already out of the window. So what do I result to? The wonderful world of online dating. It's amazing. Amazing. It's glorious. It's garbage. Mm. Now, for those of you that have never been on a dating app before, I feel like I got to explain to you guys the big three. You know how the people always say three. there's a big three for anime? Well, it's the exact same thing for dating apps. Wait, and quick question. What is the big three for anime? Because I need to start my anime journey. I just got finished watching the Avatar live action on Netflix, and I definitely want to watch it like the animated version at some point. I don't know if I'm going to do it on the channel or not. I might. We'll see. But y'all let me know. What's the, what's the big three for you know, anime joints so I can, you know what I'm saying, watch it. That big three is Tinder, Hinge, and Bumble. Tinder is the generic data. They're all owned the by the same people, right ain't swipe it? Swipe left system, right for like, left for dislike. If two people swipe right on each other, boom, it's a match. After you match, you can text that person back and forth. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. But if I'm being honest, nobody is on Tinder looking for a relationship. Everyone is just on Tinder looking, looking to smash. For a and no, I'm not talking about Hulk smash. I'm talking about... <laughs> then you got Hinge, which is yeah. basically the dating app that gives the ugly dudes a shot. I say it gives the ugly dudes a shot for because real? with Hinge, it has a completely different system compared to Tinder. Instead of just mindlessly swiping left and right, you have to like a picture or a prompt on somebody's profile. And with that, you can attach a little message to it. And if that person likes the message or likes how you look, then They'll that respond. person can choose to match up with you. So if you're not gifted with the looks of ASAP Rocky or Michael B. Jordan, then you still have a shot because you can kind of show off your personality. And then you got Bumble, which in my opinion is honestly Bumble the worst is dead. three. It's basically the same thing as tinder it's but got the whole women swipe left have the swipe option right of system send but you here's a message. The twist you know how in society usually the man makes the first move when he's pursuing a woman well on bumble it's a complete opposite mm -hmm. the women are supposed to make the first move men and women can both swipe left and swipe right on each other but if they match only the women can text first it's pretty stupid if i'm being honest with you on paper it sounds like a great idea you know i see online a lot of people saying like if women shot their shot more there will be more relationships out in the world which i do believe to an extent but at the same time i do think it's kind of stupid for an app to only let women shoot their shot first because i mean at the end of the day if i was a woman i would go nowhere near bumble and i say that because it just sounds like extra work like why <laughs> download an app where i gotta make sounds the first like extra move work and put in that extra step when i can just download being on a dating app in general is extra work when you think about it versus just going out and meeting people in person you know Tinder or Hinge and just have men flock to me. It's like asking somebody if they'd rather get $1 million for free or $1 million and work for it. Work yeah. <laughs> Obviously, everybody's going to pick that $1 million for free. But yeah, those three apps are pretty much the That's main funny. three dating apps. Anything else I've honestly never used because be real with me. Who is out here using farmersonly.com? There's thing somebody. That all these apps I'm sure of it. Though, is that they all have these premium subscriptions, which offer things like more swipes, more information like who liked your profile and boosts so more people can see your profile. 
But if we're being honest here, yeah, this is just a dating matter. app's way of capitalizing on lonely men. And the reason I say lonely men is because on dating apps, most men get less matches than women because there's so many men on these apps. There's actually studies yeah. that show that Tinder is 75%. Damn. Is 64% men. Damn. Is 76%. Bro, with these ratios, there's really no point for any guy to be on it. 25%. Yeah, uh, pff, waste my time. Man. So what's <laughs> one way to help with this waste my time? Men? Buying their premium subscription. And what's even crazier is the pricing on these plans. One week, one month, three months. Hinge X. What the hell is a Hinge X? Tinder Gold. Forget all this. See, this is why I'm gonna get Tinder's my sugar Tinder daddy on. Select. Which is I highlight y'all on seeking. $500 per month. <laughs> now I gotta state this right here. <laughs> to hell Tinder with this. Isn't open to the public. You have to actually sign up for this. Only less than one percent of Tinder users actually have Tinder Select. So it's not really that important. It's pretty rare. But regardless, it is Tinder for $500 a month. Like we're not gonna sit here and act like that's completely normal. For $500, I better have a shot with Tiana Trump, Margot Robbie, Ruby Rose, and any other baddie on this earth. $500 is literally the price of a PS5. The saddest part about Tinder select though is that the people who actually buy not. this are most likely still going to get the same results that exactly. they did prior to having tinder select but let's be real some people honestly just deserve to learn the hard way if you spend 500 dollars on a dating app i mean you deserve to have that post transaction clarity also one year of tinder select would be six thousand dollars which is absolutely crazy to me if you're spending six thousand dollars for a dating app number one seek help number two find god number three you're probably ugly if i'm being real with you but you want to know a crazier fact for ugly and have money so so be it i guess like 14 percent of tinder's users are paying users and that's out of 75 million people and 14 percent of 75 million is 10.5 million so that means that 10.5 million people are paying users on tinder but if i'm being honest i'm not really as surprised I mean, right now we're going money. through a loneliness pandemic studies actually show that one in four adults feel lonely in the world right now and also we are living in a time where a lot of people aren't really as wise with their money i mean you got people out here buying only fan subscriptions you got people out here who are spending tons of money on in-game purchases like battle passes yeah and game skins which i'm not gonna lie i am pretty guilty of mm -hmm. you also got people out here spending tons mm -hmm. of money on doordash and fast food each and every day so See, that but they they keep they're doing this because we're still spending money once we stop spending money they they can't do it they won't do it you know but because we're happily putting our credit cards in there but you know what got us used to it amazon allegedly allegedly <laughs> amazon it's so easy man that one push of a button once they allowed us to save our cards and even like with the Apple Pay thing where now your card is automatically on there. You just press the power button on the side and you, doop, you tap it. As soon as they started making it easy for us to pay for things like now. People have been freaking spending their money like nothing, even when they don't have it. Credit card debt is so high right now. It's not even funny. Some of y'all watching this video have credit card debt and you ain't even worried about a thing. You ain't worried about that at all. Hey, I get to it when I get to it. Some of y'all got student loans that you don't ever plan on paying back. He said, what is Woo! $10 to $20? It's now? tough out here. So people blow it is like get told to so be in America. So why not spend 10 to $20 and possibly get a relationship out of it? It sounds reasonable, right? And that's exactly how dating apps get you. At the end of the day, dating apps are a business. And the mm -hmm. goal of a business is to make, to make money. money. If the goal of yeah. a dating app was to help each and every user find their significant other so they could live happily ever after in life, then that dating app would go out of business because Very that quickly. app would make no money at all. Yeah. So what are dating apps doing? Selling a solution to the lonely society. Selling a and fantasy. if you're that lonely man that's maybe dropped out of college, only goes to work in the gym and you're not really around that many women hey but there's some people that did meet their husband or their wife off of these dating apps so shout out to y'all some of y'all might be watching right now like oh billy it's not that bad you know uh for me it was worth it some of you guys didn't have to spend any money to find your loved one or whatever but shout out to y'all congrats you know more blessings and i hope that you guys stay together forever for real their exact target but that is not everyone's dates, story money and loneliness but what's even worse is the algorithm of these dating apps tinder actually used to use this elo system which is basically a ranking system that's used in chess and video games i say used to in quotes because tinder said they took it out but let's be real that's just a pr business cover-up we yeah, all know that they're, they're still, still using doing it, it yeah for day. sure and how it works is they would rank you based on your attractiveness <laughs> slash how many people would swipe right on you Damn. so pretty much if a ton of people swipe right on you they that means that you're you. in high yeah, elo and tinder they were boosting values you. you a lot and if you're a person who 
who a bunch of people swipe left on and they just skip you basically that means that you're in low elo and you're ugly but if that high elo person likes somebody's profile who's low elo that low elo person's score goes up so if that high elo person has terrible taste in men or women <laughs> it's a field day for the ugly human beings of the earth but what's one way That's to have crazy. more high elo people I didn't on your know. feed and have your profile pushed out to more people in general paying for their premium plans mm -hmm. it's actually pretty sad because it all just boils down to dating apps wanting more money mm -hmm. at the end of the day love is priceless you can't just pay your way to love just have no. fun go outside live your life but you can't pay your way to fun find your significant other i feel like too many people nowadays try to force slash rush the process of things yeah and one for of sure. those things being relationships slash for sure, I agree. now with this video do i expect every single person that watches it to delete every single dating app on their phone not no, gonna happen. because that's not my intent i mean if you use tinder or any other dating app for free i honestly don't care like if that's what you find fun that's what you find fun but i guess my whole point of this video is mm. that do not spend your money on dating apps you work hard yeah. for your money and if you're young $20 is like it. one to two so. hours of work and if you're old that's like less than an hour of work but regardless do you really want your $20 to go to a slimy dating app let's be real here but yeah with all that being said this is going to wrap up the video if you guys made it this far i appreciate you if you guys shout out to my boy cameron y'all make sure y'all subscribe check him out that is the sad reality of dating apps now i would like to know do you have any experience on dating apps do you have any stories that you would like to share put it in the comment section because i would love to hear it um i had a couple stories like and i shared this on um for those that do not know i did start a podcast last year with some of my friends in the youtube space it's called the reckless three y'all just type it into youtube and it'll pop up you know um a lot of our videos from the first season is up right now and I've told a couple stories of my time being out in the field. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, very transparent here that I have not been out dating in a very, very long time. And I mean, a very, very long time. I don't do that. I don't have time for that. That's just not where I'm at in life. But I would love to hear y'all stories. And if you want to hear mine, again, go check out the Reckless 3 podcast. You don't have to, but that's only if you're curious enough and you want to just take a deep dive into some of the some of the stories that I share within that, that podcast. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up. Once again, shout out to Cameron. You guys be sure to subscribe to him. Uh, comments, drop them, social media links, Instagram, Twitter, x.com, whatever, all at Billy Binges, twitch.tv slash Billy Binges. I do live reactions over there. I do movie nights, uh, keep it or sweep it, which is uh, essentially kind of doing music reactions, but not really. It's a game where y'all sending songs and then the people decide whether or not we're going to play the song all the way through or we're going to move on to the next but anyways that'll do it for this video i'll see y'all the next one i'm out